Hello everyone, and welcome back to Med Bros. This isn't a comprehensive guide of what to do to prepare for your interviews. Instead, I want to do something that I think is a little more helpful, and that's telling you what not to do during your medical school interview. These might have been things you were planning to do during your interview, but luckily you found Med Bros. During the course of your medical school interviews, it's very likely that an interviewer will challenge or offer a counter argument to one of the points you're saying. And you do not want to be that person that immediately gives in and accepts the counter argument. If you have a defense of your point, then just say it. It's better to show that you know what you're talking about rather than give in immediately to whatever the interviewer is saying. Obviously, if the interviewer has a great point, you should be fluid in your thinking and willing to incorporate that into your ideas. But a lot of times, interviewers will just throw out a point that even they don't believe in, but they just want to see how you'll react to it and see how you react to stress. It's a common strategy, so be prepared for it and don't give in so easily. Also, if you're asked a challenging question, don't be afraid to just pause and take a moment to think about it. You can even ask your interviewer for a moment. Just say, hmm, let me think about that for a second. And that way you'll be able to form a well thought out response rather than a bad rush response that gets ripped to shreds by your interviewer. My second recommendation is to not stay completely on topic during the course of an interview. Just answering every question with a direct answer is pretty boring. You want to weave in your stories, experiences, philosophies, really anything, even if it's semi relevant, because that can push the conversation into a new direction and one where it really shows your passion and interest in medicine and allows you to better express yourself. And most likely the interviewers are very willing to go on that journey with you and talk about whatever you want to talk about. From my experience, those conversations can last well over the interview time. The first thing you want to do when you step into that room is gauge the tone of the interviewer. If they're more serious and rigid, you don't want to be too casual because that will literally ruin your interview right away. So only be more casual and laid back if your interviewer is the same, but obviously not too much. My fourth point pertains to those answers to commonly asked questions that you might find online or in a book or wherever. Those answers actually suck. So for example, the commonly asked question of what's your greatest weakness or what is one of your weaknesses and you respond to that with a strength that's the worst possible thing you can do instead use honest answers that allow you to better express yourself because interviewers appreciate honesty and you'll stand out if you're not the 10th person in a row using that same response and lastly just express your personality don't be afraid to crack a joke or give a compliment to the interviewer even if he's an md doctor he looks scary just give him a compliment if he looks nice I mean if he's dashing he's dashing right all right ladies you might not want to do that if you have a genuine compliment then just give it be yourself show your personality if you show who you truly are and the interviewer sees you as a human being and as a person instead of just another name then the interviewer is much more likely to be your ally in the admissions process so those are my tips, and I hope that saves some of you from potential disaster during your medical school interview. If you know of other people who have medical school interviews, please feel free to share it with them. And please subscribe if you're new and you like this kind of content. And I will see you next time.